Hello, my name is David. Uh, if you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm going to be starting a new book. Uh, reading, reading books typically t takes me six months to a year to read. Um, if, and um, I would invite you to subscribe. I typically post uh, updates on books maybe about once a week, sometimes once a month. Uh, but in this series, I'm going to be reading a, uh, a series called uh, Behind the Horror, True Stories That Inspired Horror Movies. Uh, my suggestion is going to be before you, either before you listen to the book or after, um, I would watch the movie. Uh, I'm going to go through uh, the 14 or so chapters, or not 14, 17 chapters that I'll be reading through in this series. Chapter one is going to be, uh, I believe it's going to be a, a German film. But a city, it's, the, the movie is called M, A City Searches for a Murderer. Uh, that was, came out in 1931. Uh, the Serial Killer of the Weimar, Germany. Chapter 2, Rope, uh, from Al Al Alfred Hitchcock, uh, 1948. And that's going to be based on the, uh, the murder of Bobby Franks. Uh, chapter 3. Uh, Psycho, 1960, and the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 1974. That's going to be based on the uh, the crimes of Ed Gein. Uh, chapter 4, uh, 1972, the crimes of John Christie and Neville Heath and the Hammersmith nude murderers. Chapter 5, this is going to be an interesting one. Uh, the Exorcist, uh, 1973. And then that's based on the, the possession of Roland Doe. Chapter 6 is going to be Jaws, 1975. Uh, that's based on uh, the Jersey Shore shark attacks, the sinking of the USS uh, Indianapolis, and the, and the life of Frank Mundus. Uh, chapter 7, The Town That Dreaded, that dreaded Sundown uh, from 1976. And again, that's going to be based on the Texarkana Moonlight Murders. Uh, chapter 8, The Amityville Horror, 1979. And that's going to be based on The Haunting of 112 Ocean Avenue. Uh, chapter 9, Poltergeist, uh, from 1982. Uh, the Seaford, and that's based on the Seaford Poltergeist. Chapter 10, a Nightmare on Elm Street, 1980, uh, 1984, and that's going to be uh, based on the uh, Sudden Unexplained Nocturnal Death Syndrome. Chapter 11, The Serpent and the Rainbow from 1988, and that's going to be based off of the, the strange tale of Claire Vius Narcis. I probably mispronounced that. Uh, chapter 12. The Silence of the Lambs, 1991, uh, based off of Ted Bundy, The Green River Killer, uh, Gary Heidnick, Ed Kempfer, Jerry Brudos, Dr. Alfred, uh, Alfredo Bali Trevino, Andrea Cicatalio, and The Monster of Florence. Scream, 1996, uh, that's going to be based uh, off the, the murder of Janet Chris, Chrisman and the crimes of the Gainesville Ripper. Chapter 14, The Mothman Prophecies, 2002, and that's going to be based off of uh, the Mothman of Point Pleasant, West Virginia. Chapter 15, Wolf Creek, 2005, The Crimes of Ivan Millet and the Murder of Peter Fala. Falsonio, Chapter 16, The Conjuring, uh, which came out in 2013, Annabelle in 2014, and The Conjuring 2 in 2016, based off of The uh, Haunting of Perrin Farm, The Case of the Annab Annabelle Doll, and The um, Enfield Poltergeist. Chapter 17, The Witch, which came out in 2015, and The Lighthouse, uh, which was in 2019, and then that's based off of the Salem Witch Trials and the Smalls Lighthouse Tragedy. And this book is uh, written by uh, Lee, Dr. Lee Miller, 
And I'm just gonna read the back cover now. There's nothing scarier than a true story. For decades, horror movies have uh, terrified and entertained us, but many of the darkest nightmares to haunt our screens have even darker origins. They are based on real events. Discover the horrifying murders, hauntings, kidnappings, and disappearances that inspired iconic horror movies. Alfred, this is a quote from Alfred Hitchcock. A glimpse, a glimpse into the world proves that horror is nothing, is nothing other than reality. And again, if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I would appreciate it. And I'll be posting the first three chapters uh, very soon. So thank you and enjoy 